Hi, so here we have to find this sum. We all know that this is a sigma symbol and that means we have to add the terms from k, uh, k equal to 1 to 20 of the form k by 2 to the power k, okay? So let's go ahead, okay? So here, first we consider that what is s. So let us consider the term uh, called s, okay? So here, first we consider that what the required sum, that is s. And s is equal to summation of k is equal to 1 to 20 and k by 2 to the power k. So here, let's write down the sum, okay? So what is the sum that will be equal to k equal to 1? So 1 by 2 plus 2 by 2 square plus 3 by 2 to the power 3 plus dot dot 2. Let's go ahead and it will be 20 divided by 2 to the power 20. So that's equal to the sum. Now we have to add them. So first we need to uh, use some tricks for this kind of problem. So what that tricks? It's very easy. Here first we multiply that both sides by 1 by 2. So let's go ahead. So I'll write that multiply both sides by half. So what happened? In the left hand side, it's 1 by 2 s. Now, whenever we want to write the same series, I'll use a shift, okay? So 1 by 2, it's 1 by 2 squared. So I'll write down in the next term or the second term. So it's became 1 by 2 square plus, so it's 2 by 2 to the power cube plus dot dot 2, 19 by 2 to the power 20 plus 20 divided by 2 to the power 21. So that's actually 1 by 2 of s. Now we'll subtract this 2. So I named it as equation number 1. This is obviously the 2. Now if I subtract 1 and 2, obviously we'll get that s in a beautiful form. So subtract 1 and 2, we'll see that s minus s by 2, it's definitely equal to s by 2. Now if I subtract, what is its half? Let's write down half plus it is 2 by 2 square minus 1 by 2 square so therefore it is 1 by 2 square and so on so it's 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 to the power cube plus dot dot 2 obviously we'll see that 19 so it's 1 by 2 to the power 20 so 1 by 2 to the power 20 minus uh, 20 by 2 to the power 21 so you see that whatever I put in a bracket, that actually gives you a GP series. A GP series with first term half and common ratio is obviously half. So that's why we can easily add them together. So therefore you can side in that left hand side is by 2. That's equal to 1 by 2 into 1 minus R and here 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power 20 minus 20 divided by 2 to the power 21 so that's it so this gives it gives me the exact value now obviously we have to match them right so that's why we need to calculate it little bit more so let's see that this is get cancelled so obviously is by 2 becomes 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power 20 minus 20 divided by 2 to the power 21. Now see that here this is 20 right so 20 can be easily written down as 2 into 10 so that 2 and it is 2 to the power 21 so easily we can write it as 10 divided by 2 to the power 20. So at the end we can see that is by 2 it's definitely equal to 1 minus 11 by 2 to the power 20. If I multiply it by to both sides, we can get ac is equal to 2 minus 11 by 2 to the power 19. So that's the sum. So that's the sum of this series. So therefore, for this problem, option A is the correct answer. So it's actually a problem in the GP series. And but we are rewrite that in a typical form. And we have to use these tricks by multiplying by half. Okay, that's it. I think you understood the tricks. Hope you understood it and that's it for this problem. See you in next video. Thank you.